All right, it's that time of the year again. Uh, this past weekend, we had Virginia's Youth Day weekend. Uh, we took Little Man out. Unfortunately, we didn't get any birds, uh, but we had a lot of action, so that was good. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing some pattern testing again. I'm switching up a little bit with the 20 gauge this year. I wasn't really happy with the uh, combo I had last year. It was all right, got the job done, but not really what I was looking for. And uh, I also got a new toy here, 410, so I'm excited to try that out. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be trying a variety of different shells and chokes, so stay tuned. All right, so a little bit about the 410 I'm shooting. This is a Stevens 301 410 with a uh, Hawk red dot on it. Uh, from what I heard, this is the best 410 for the money. It's single shot, and uh, you know, last year we ran the 20, so I want a little bit more of a challenge. This year I'll be running the Indian Creek 385 constriction choke, so trying to find a good combo here. We'll see how it goes. All right, so just a little bit about the shells I'm shooting. I did a little bit of research after I bought this gun and just uh, just to see, you know, what kind of some of the better patterns were for the uh, Indian Creek uh, choke tubes. And, uh, you know, I narrowed it down to these three. Uh, I have an idea which one's gonna be the best, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and find out. Uh, first, I'm gonna be shooting the Ninja Turkey Apexes nine and a half shot, the Federal TSS nine and a half shot, and then also, this is a newer company, Verdict TSS, uh, and that's also nine and a half shot. So first, first up is the uh, Turkey Ninjas Apex nine and a half shot. We're gonna be shooting this at 20 yards. All right, so this was the Turkey Ninja Apex's nine and a half shot at 20 yards. My pattern's a little low, but that's the scope. I gotta, it's still kind of sighting it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that up a little bit. But I mean, honestly, for a 410, you know, this is a pretty good pattern. It's not gonna be like your 12 gauge and your 20 gauge patterns. Uh, but you know, if this was if this was centered up, I mean, that's that's a good pattern for 20 yards. Oh, that's a downer. <laughs> Wow, that thing's like stuck in there. So next up, we have the Verdict TSS nine and a half shot. And I forgot to mention earlier, these are all three inch shells in the 410. Um, so go, I went ahead, got a new fresh target down there. We uh, adjusted the slate just a little bit more. We'll see how it does. And again, this is at 20 yards. Y'all just let me know when y'all are good. Good? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I like that. That was a jelly head. I think he's dead. At 20 yards, he's dead. We still got a, still got a couple flyers here on the outside, if you want to call them that, but you know, this is our core pattern right here. And I mean, for 20 yards, that's pretty lights out. I mean, he is, that is a dead turkey. And again, if you're used to seeing 12 and 20 gauge patterns, this is not going to look as good just because it's a smaller shell, less shot. So that's pretty good for a 410. That was the verdict nine and a half shot. Looks pretty good. That's a dead turkey there. <laughs> Fresh plate. We are going to shoot this at 40 yards. I'm very skeptical about that, and I never want to shoot a bird that far off my uh, 410. I like shooting them close, but uh, just to know, just to have that reassurance if we ever need it. We have the Federal TSS nine and a half shot, another three inch shell. Uh, again, this is still going to be at 20 yards. Um, I know this combo works really good, and the 20 gauges we ran, the Indian Creek with the Federal TSS was lights out next year, or last year, excuse me. And I'm pretty sure that's what Ethan's gonna go back with this year because that was just a killer combo. Next up, Federal TSS, nine and a half shot, 20 yards still. Uh, still shooting the Indian Creek choke. Uh, I know last year Ethan shot this out of his 20 gauge and uh, it was a pretty good combo. So I'm hoping to see the same out of this. That was not as good as the 20 gauge. I can tell from here. So far, I think the verdict actually has it. It's just surprising to me. But. Here's the Federal TSS nine and a half shot, 20 yards. This pattern is very spread out. 
So I don't know. I don't. That's that's not really what I want to what I want to see. I want a tighter pattern so I can uh, I got you know more trust in the gun at that range. So probably not going to be the shells of choice. Yeah. Apex Ninja Turkeys, nine and a half shot, 20 yards. Whew. All right, that was pretty dirty. That was the Apex. It's gonna, I don't know, that's a close race. The, honestly, the deciding factor right now is gonna be what it looks like at 40 yards because- Look at that knot. Right that is, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Shoo, baby, whoa, baby. Money, 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 money couple 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 flyers nothing nothing crazy nothing so this is my core pattern right here that is a jelly head at 20 yards i don't care who you are at 40. because look at that that tight knot right there yeah that's like right on the beach you understand what that is right <laughs> he has bumped the target back to 40 yards and we're going to go ahead and shoot the rest of them pretty much he's going to shoot his four tens or more and then we're going to shoot the 20 and then going to shoot the 12 gauge. So uh, stay tuned and hope you guys are enjoying this. Life situation here. We got a freaking gobbler in the wheat, you know. Really gets me going. See how this does. Yep. All right. My eyesight is terrible, but I'm hoping this is okay. I never want to shoot a bird at 40 yards. With my 410 but just in case we like killing them tight you know like five ten yards that's cool that's what i like probably not gonna shoot them at 40 yards 30 or less is probably where i'm gonna keep it at and honestly i think i don't even know if that's even really low i mean i could bump it up a little bit but i wouldn't mess it's, with it it's not gonna change a whole lot i mean it's a dead bird you know he's got a couple couple in the head but 30 and then all right it's up to the verdict now <laughs> Verdict, nine and a half shot, 40 yards. And this will be the last pattern for the 410 for today. If I can get the shell out. They pack them tight in there, don't they? I do. So that means the pattern should be tight, right? I hope so. I don't really want to tear this box up. All right, here we go. 40 yards with the verdict. What's the verdict? Verdict? Y'all ready? It's pretty similar to the uh, to the Apex. I will have no problem running either one of those, I think, for the uh, for the season. So, but I definitely want to kill at least one bird with the 410. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I might, depending on how that goes, I might end up running it for the whole season. Um, like I said earlier, I just want to, it's a little bit more of a challenge, you know. We really enjoy chasing these birds and hunting them, so why not make it difficult, you know. Hey, bud. We didn't bring another target. Sorry, I got them all right here. Oh, okay. So, again, it's a little spread out, but this is 40 yards with a 410. I mean, you're not going to be shooting bullet holes like a slug with your 410 at this range. Uh, I would be curious to see if I had a tighter constricted Indian Creek or maybe another one, uh, how that would do. But uh, for this year, I think I'm pretty satisfied shooting a bird 30 yards and then with the 410. Cause like I said, I don't want to shoot them farther than 20. Only, this is only for reassurance. I don't, that's just, it's one of the things. I want to be, have some reassurance if they do, you know, hang up maybe a little bit farther. But uh, the closer we can get them, the better. Z410. Yeah, I might have to go buy me one. All right, so we're wrapping it up with the 410. Um, we've seen what we needed to. Uh, it's a very close race between the Apex and the Verdict. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the Verdicts. However, the Apex are pretty good too. So we're going to do a count of these. Uh, we might include that somewhere in this. Um, I'm sure we can, but just taking a look here, 
This is the, that's the verdict at 40 yards, and this is the apex at 40 yards. So, I mean, that's that's pretty close. They're pr very, very similar at 40 yards. Uh, and then here again, this is the verdict and the apex at 20 yards. See, this is this is what I like. That is, that's pretty money. And um, I mean, they're both good. That Those are both dead turkeys. I'm more comfortable than anything uh, shooting those at 20 yards, so. Like I said, I think those are gonna be the, the shells for sure. Um, we're gonna get a count. And then last is the Federal at 20 yards. I didn't even attempt shooting that at 40 because honestly, the pattern was not that great. So I've heard, you know, different things with the, uh, with the stock choke on the guns, it could be better, but um, I don't know. I mean, I've already spent a lot of money on this year on shells, so I'm gonna stick with what I got, I think. We got the 12 gauge out now, Frenchie Affinity Elite, three inch. Got the Indian Creek 665 constriction, and we're going to shoot the Apex small town hunting blend combination of nine and seven and a half shot going 1190 feet per second. What's going on guys? I just picked up this new Franchi Affinity Elite 3 and uh, I picked up an Indian Creek 555 restriction choke for it and uh, we're gonna pattern with some Apex Ninjas 8.5 shot. You good? Alright, so Dylan just shot. Looks like he pulled his pattern a little high right, so his core pattern somewhere right up in here. If he could center that up, which it could have just been him, or uh, we might have to shim the stock. We'll see on the, uh, the next one. But uh, if you move this over just a little bit more, I mean, that's a dead turkey at 40 yards. Alright, guys, just shot the Apex Ninjas. Now we're going to shoot the Verdict 9 shot. is less than a year old. Oh, that's nasty. That's disgusting. All right, so here we have it. Verdict, once again, they impressed me with the 410 loads and they're impressed me with their 20 gauge loads. That is a, quite a pattern. I mean, that's, that's pretty even. That's a pretty, like if you pull out just a little bit left, that's still a dead turkey. He's dead all day long, but it's nice and even. So that gives you a little bit of wiggle room, you know, for if that bird's moving around a little bit. So that's a very good pattern for 40 yards. I'm gonna buy some of those. Team Verdict, baby. All right, just shot the Verdict. About to shoot the Boss Tom seven shot, but it's gonna be a run for its money because the Verdict impressed me a lot. Oh, Boss. Oh, Boss, oh, baby. Boss. It's, staying true. it's not bad either. We'll see. That's still pretty good for seven shots, so. Obviously, there's not going to be as many BBs in there. They're a little bit bigger, so that's pretty good for seven shot at 40 yards. Uh, definitely something you could probably depend on. So, definitely a good load by Boss. I think their nines are definitely a lot more. Uh, you know, they got pretty good patterns usually, but that's still that's a dead turkey all day long. But that verdict, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can beat that. Up next, we got another apex load, the old Tom turkey, eight and ten shot. That's nasty too. That one kicked the most out of all of them. That's pretty daggone good. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, don't hold me to this, sorry if I'm wrong, this is a similar load to the um, small town blend that Kyle shot out of his 12 gauge. So that's a 810 mix. And uh, I mean, that's a pretty daggone good pattern for 40 yards. Pull that up a little bit, you're gonna be melting heads off at 40 yards. So good shell by Apex for sure. What's up guys? Well, I figured I'd bring my gun out. I haven't shot it yet this year. This is the uh, Benelli M220 gauge. 
with the 555 restriction Indian Creek, I'll be shooting the Ball 7s. Yeah, well, I might have pulled that a little high, but there's just really, I don't really see any tight core. Do you? It's them sevens. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're really in need of a shell, I don't know. There's no really tight core here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put those to the side. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Federal TSS 9s at 40 yards. Just like last year. I don't know, I could have pulled that one a little high too, but that's a dead bird all day. There you have it. Yeah, it looks familiar as last year. Um, it has a very, very tight core and it's very even, so I'm impressed. And I don't think I'm gonna switch anything up. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot the same thing as last year. Might buy you a box of vertigo. Yeah. Hey, can you put a target up? Can you put a target up for me, bro? Well, the boys insist that I should go ahead and shoot a verdict. So, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to because I don't really want to change my mind, but we'll see. Guys, well, here it is. The verdict nine shot. So, uh, let's see if my mind's going to be changed. What do you guys think? You think my mind's going to be changed? I do. I do. I do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh God. Yep. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm switching. Team verdict, baby. Wow. That's nasty. Woo. Sorry, Federal. Verdict. We need you to go ahead and get some more nine shot in stock because I will be buying two boxes. But yeah, that's just another real, real tight core, just like Dylan's. That's really impressive. Look at all the double, triple holes. Yeah. That's, that's nasty. That's I was scared to shoot it because I didn't want to change my mind, because I hate doing that, but uh, it's too late for that. I'm switching. I ordered the eight shot, but it's got to be damn close to whatever the nines do. Uh -oh. I bought the best shells that shot out of my gun. All right, so I just won two brand new guns. I'm a Remington guy, but I won a Benelli Supernova and a Winchester SXP at the uh, National Wild Turkey Federation Banquet uh, last Saturday. I've always been a Remington man because they're cheap and you can get them easy. And we're gonna try and pattern these two guns and just see what we got. These are Remington three inch number four shots, the long beard XR choke tube. Not too shabby. That's not a bird. They got some in the spot. Yeah, where they're fours, there's not many shots, but there's quite a few in the in the boiler room. That's a bird. All right, so I just happen to have a couple of a Winchester Double X three and a half inch um, number four shot. So we're going to run them down range with the same gun, same choke, and uh, see how they compare. Fire in the hole. Um, three and a half inch fours got. Looks like significantly more pellets in the kill range there. Um, yeah, that ain't bad. All right, this is the second gun that I won at the Turkey Federation Banquet this weekend. It's a Winchester SXP, um, shooting the Remington number fours, three inch. With just a full choke.
and uh, just a dead bird all day long. We got the uh, Winchester XXP again, and the only difference is we're shooting Winchester three and a half inch number four shot. See if the uh, extra recoil is worth it. Yeah, I don't think the three and a half inch was the extra recoil was worth it on that one. That's only about three shot in the old kill zone there, some in the body. But yeah, I think the uh, three inch Remington outperformed the uh, three and a half Winchester on that one. So it's been a couple days since we did our pattern test. It's currently Monday, April 11th. We are a week out from Maryland's turkey opener, so we're super stoked about that. And now we are confident in the combos we'll be running for the season. Uh, me personally, uh, I'm going to be running the Verdict. It was a very close race between Verdict and Apex. But overall, as far as the pellet counts goes, the Verdict took it won every time. It was at both 20 and 40 yards it was better so i'm going to go ahead and run that i'm going to be very confident with that and i'm excited to use that and put it to the test and i think everybody else kyle you you've got a pretty good idea of what you want to run to yeah for me out of the 12 gauge with the indian creek 665 um i'm shooting the small town hunting blend seven and a half over nines i just had a great pattern that was the only load i tested but it was lights out um had a great core great even pattern at 40 yards so I don't need to do any more testing. I know that's what I'm uh, going with for the year. Heck yeah. So like I said, we're stoked. Can't wait for it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Maybe you saw something you want to try or some shells you're going to use or combos, whatever it may be. I mean, we're not very biased right now because we're not sponsored by any shell company. So, you know, we can just tell you how it is. We'll tell you the truth and we'll show you. And, and hopefully you can take something from that. So thanks for all your support. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.